All right, this video is going to bring together the circle angles and the special right triangles from the last video. So you can nest a triangle inside the coordinate plane so that you have the initial side here and then the terminal side here. And then when you have this intersection with the circle, you can see that this creates a right triangle here. Now this 30, 60, 90 triangle um, is the same as a pi over six, pi over three, pi over two triangle. So this is the 30 degree angle, this is the 60 degree angle. And notice how the sides are labeled, um, just like you would in a geometry class if this was a 30, 60, 90. Similarly, we can do that for a 45, 45, 90. So this would be 45 degrees, the same as pi over four. And then we can drop this down Notice that this length and this length are the same. We call that S. And then this length of the hypotenuse is square root of two times S. Now I personally, because these are all similar triangles, choose to write this as one, two, square root of three, which like S is equal to one. Similarly, one, one, square root of two. So if I wanna find the um, six trig ratios for t equals pi over six. Well, in this case, that's pi over three. So let's draw a pi over six. So I would have my initial side, my pi over six side, and I would drop this down like so. Now pi over six is the same as 30 degrees. I can label my sides with this like unit piece, if you will. So one, hypotenuse is two, square root of three. So all that I'm really looking at is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, where S is equal to one or the smallest side length is just one. Then we can use all of our trig ratios in order to find the sine of that angle. So that's going to be opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, um, opposite over adjacent, opposite over, or sorry, hypotenuse over opposite. adjacent, hypotenuse over adjacent, and adjacent over opposite. So those are the six. All right, what if I wanted to do this for pi over four? One, one, root two. All right, well, sine of pi over four and cosine of pi over four are both one over root two. The tangent of pi over four is one. It's also true that the secant and cosecant of pi over four are the same at root two and cotangent is also one. And again, I'm just using the ratios um, they were given in the previous videos. So if you need to write those down and take notes, you can do that, but I'm just using opposite adjacent and hypotenuse ratios and just defining these common um, angles that we're going to be using in the first quadrant. All right, for pi over three, That's the same as a 60 degree angle. So now my small side is down here as like the base, hypotenuse is always two, and the side opposite 60 degrees is going to be root three. 
All right, so then I would write the sine of pi over three, opposite over hypotenuse, cosine of pi over three, adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent of pi over three, opposite over adjacent, cosecant of pi over three, hypotenuse over opposite, secant of pi over three, hypotenuse over adjacent, and cotangent of pi over three, adjacent over opposite.